decided that we're going to have a uh, uh, with Nagy and uh, personally and most of the group in the working group for the rally thought it was a great idea but to have Robin Hood hats yeah. on the rally and I looked them up today to see if we can buy them but they're really expensive and we have to order them from the UK so the idea is to buy thick green uh, paper and just form them and staple them and put in a feather so I'm wondering if there's anybody that is interested in helping me to do that on Wednesday when we're supposed to do the practice uh, just come to me and uh, try to grab me, and uh, we'll go down tomorrow or on Wednesday and try to get these things and as much presented as we can. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, I forgot to mention, um, yeah, we. Like, not just on the hats, but also for placards and banners and that sort of thing. Um, to have a working group, like, to, to whoever can, like, you know, give their time and resources and, um, yeah, put in some time into building some signs and that sort of thing to, uh, yeah, get together at 12 o'clock on a Wednesday. Um, if that generally suits people. Um, and also, on the speakers, I forgot to mention that, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, be approaching... Uh, yeah, an Indigenous speaker, hopefully Sam Watson's available to speak, but if not, um, somebody else from the community. Um, and also another speaker from the Transport Workers Union. Their struggle is still going strong and it's important that, like, yeah, we build that solidarity between each other. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we've got so far. Anybody else have anything for Saturday, Valley? Just quickly before we move on. Uh, anybody who's interested in going to, to the dinner afterwards on Saturday, sorry, um, you just need to email so that they've got some numbers. They'll just call us just up here. Which dinner? We, we got offered a dinner for after the rally. That fairy had invited us to. Yeah. Can I just raise a point? I just ask people not to talk over the person at the front speaking. Um, if you agree with what you're saying, you can nod, put your fingers out flat, you don't have to actually say things. Um, I think it's, it's just a respect thing. Uh, it's not an easy job, I'm not that great at it. Um, we're happy to move on. Fire dwellers will come here. So I want to ask everyone and put it to a vote if people are happy for that to be put out for a truth and fire dwellers to come. So not. There you go. This is uh, any dissent to the. <coughs> Wasn't there a point at uh, yesterday's General Assembly that uh, the current residents of the park actually don't want uh, fire dwellers in the park because it does. Uh, uh, it can be a hazard and it can invite the authorities. Um, on. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, I was under the impression that time and time again, but like we non-Aboriginals and we non-Natives in whatever continent, we're, we're so PC oriented, we don't want to cross any lines, so we, we, out of fear of stepping on a thing, we say no, but it's actually a yes yeah. from them, and it just ends up going into these spirals of fear of fear of fear of fear of fear of fear. So, I mean, I've, I've seen fires happening here, I'm personally so fire. Yeah, we're talking about fire twirling. There, there, that wasn't the issue. The issue was open fires. So can we just move on? Because we already had the discussion about open fires last night. It's not a discussion. It's not a discussion. No one has a right to make a fire. Not even black holes. There you go. Get our license. No. Negotiate the license. Okay, I'll, I'll get up there.
first things first, we need to secure a site. We need to secure a site and we've got to negotiate those sort of terms. Because we are amongst the fire season. You know what I mean? There's fire bans galore. You know what I mean? In order to have that sort of, you know, like that activity, I'm not against it. I mean, I know how to, I know how to backlash, but law is law. You know what I mean? We're very fortunate to have this part of the world, and we need to concentrate on the next move. And if you want to fire 12, just put it in the negotiation. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's where there's a will, there's a way, and I'm I'm totally not against it. I'll tell you now, but we can't abuse the, the privilege. And um, I'm sure there's 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 a future. This is not going to stop now. This movement, this occupation, and um, I see that as part of it. You know, like we need it. We we can't do much from here. Like we can reach West End, yeah. West End is full of a lot of credible people. You know what I mean? But we need to be in the CBD, and we need to comply. You know, like, you can't just march because you want to march. You know what I mean? You need to run through channels. Honestly, I'm a soldier. I, I march. I've been marching since I could walk. I check the footage, you know, it's like a camera for my land rights. But this is bigger than that. This is a worldwide movement. It's not about indigenous or any angle in perspective. That way, it's about humanitarianism, you know what I mean? About being human. And at the moment, we run by the 1%, but we can reach them. Buy fire to Ireland as well. There's fire to Ireland. They go overseas to see that in moderation or in regulated circumstances. You know what I mean? I believe there's a time for it. But when we get that license, we've got to negotiate for that stuff. Because that can be a draw card too. We can bring people in just by fire twelve. But we're more than fire twelve. We're here for a purpose. About harmony, peace, love, unity, balance and harmony. We'll find that space. We will. But first things first, let's get that spot secured. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's legal representatives now. But for now, we don't have this spot. This is not ours. We're lucky to have this spot. I'll tell you now, I advised against it. But we're here now. Let's, let's laugh get the next spot and the next spot after that and then more about fire dwelling. Fire dwelling is not the big issue here. It's about reaching the world, about our message. Um, something that was not against it either. Something that was brought up a time in past past few days was that we while we were here, if we did come here, that we still go into the city, still go, make our occupation. And that's something we need to start talking about and start actually doing as well. <laughs> but, but more than just every Saturday, more than just once a week, we need to go into the city and make our presence known every day of the week. Even if it's only just a handful of people going to a park and cleaning up the park in uniform and just sharing that knowledge to people who are like people wearing shirts like um I can't remember the name. Huh? Danny. That, like Danny's shirt here. We, we can actually get those these shirts online apparently, I've heard. Um yeah. So just wearing wearing shirts in uniform like this and just spreading the word like that. Just a handful of us going to a park every day. That and just cleaning it up. It's like cleaning up us cleaning up the world. So yeah. That's a lot of sun, right? Thank you.
decide when not to be giving up her cooking and her own um, yeah. Justin, so just we can go here. into the yeah. city and do that? Um, there, it's a bit of a grey area. There are a lot of areas that we can still get fined within the city. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about which areas yeah. that are. Mark's got in first. Yeah. 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 regard standing around passing them to anybody well I think technically they probably could get us under one of their bylaws for just handing out a flyer but technically they could get us if for camping picked. so at the moment um, we've we've won this ground yep. for the time being um, and that looks like they've backed off so I don't think that you know we don't want to sort of we've got to decide how far we push that um, I agree with that but at the moment I think we should be a little bit sort of chill because they've obviously decided that it was, um, you know, costing them too much politically to keep hassling us. So. Okay. Um, maybe instead of doing banners or hanging out, fine, we could just get white chat quickly and the phone down or something. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I just said it's a flat arm or hanging out. 
just get cheap white shirts and make it up ourselves. So the idea before we had with the t-shirts, the yeah, buy yeah, online, or you can, yes. Just a, a bit more than just um, we are tonight, we have just like actual informative shirts. That's beautiful, we are. It's a good idea. Are we allowed to? Sing together, but not just having fun and singing together. We've got some songs organised. So, yeah. Is that me? Yep. Um, we were actually talking about um, in the rally having some songs between speakers and uh, that we were trying to form a choir of protest songs. Um, so that was great. If people wanted to get involved with these speakers, I'd be about it. All right. Is there a working group for this this rally? It sounds yeah. a lot of this sounds like it could be discussed at the working group. And um, I suppose we could meet after this. Yeah, sure. There you go. Moss. Quick point: if you play music or read poetry or anything like that, or know anybody who does, who'd be interested in performing Saturday, please talk to us. Okay. There you go. Anybody else have anything for Saturday rally? Um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm from Canada, um, and so I don't know if this is something that has moved over to Australia. But over in Canada and, and America as well, there's groups called Radical Cheerleaders. Um, so some people may be familiar with them, but uh, I uh, I propose that as something that we could put together as well. So in, it would probably fit very well into the rally, so I am more than willing to go talk to whoever is doing that working group to sort of get something like that going on within Occupy as well. All right. Um, we belong to Ryan, or FB Admin. Ryan! <laughs> this guy! It's a few hundred words. Um, it's uh, suggested protocols for Occupy Brisbane's online team. Facebook, Twitter, Occupy Brisbane websites, live streams, email accounts, etc. If there's no dissent, um, we thought we'd read it out just to keep everyone here involved in the conversation. Um, this is, as I say, it's uh, suggested protocols. So you and David came up with So one, Occupy Brisbane's online properties are mainly for getting news of Occupy Brisbane to our supporters who cannot be at the occupation site. They can also be used to let everyone in Occupy Brisbane know about media or online articles about or directly relevant to Occupy Brisbane and about major breaking news of other occupations, such as large-scale or violent eviction of occupation. Point one. The second point, is it, a pri it is a privilege, not a right, to be able to post to Brisbane online uh, Occupy Brisbane's online property. That privilege is given to people by this General Assembly and carries responsibilities. Posters must ensure they do not abuse their privileges by making it look like their own views are supported by Occupy Brisbane as a whole. It is especially so in posting about differences of opinion in Occupy Brisbane. This is mainly the people in the admin account. And if you were saying that Occupy Brisbane should do what you want, you should post it yourself, not officially. Official posts should contain only factual input. Sorry, should only contain factual information and should avoid individual interpretations of events. Therefore, language should be used. Used should avoid I and me. There should be a maximum of uh, four, but I, they changed it to five. Uh, five after this, I don't know. Uh, five admins for the Facebook page. Admins for the Occupy Brisbane Facebook, Twitter, live stream, email accounts, and website should be elected by a general assembly on Wednesday, November 16th. The holders of all current passwords must turn them over to the newly elected admins immediately after they are elected. All admins and moderators must sure it easy to find out who they are. Point four, me criticism should never be deleted from the Facebook page, live stream, chat or comments on our website. However, we must control them so that no one who sincerely wants to take part in freeing the world from the 1% is excluded. Therefore, moderators should warn, first warn, then, if ignored, delete and ban people who post. Firstly, A, hate speaks against any group, including sexist language or behavior, racist language or behavior, homophobic language or behavior, transphobic language or behavior, any other language likely to oppress people. B, violent language or, or behavior, not including discussion on movement tactics. Um, so, yeah, theoretically, yeah, anyway. Uh, C, deliberately disruptive language or behavior. In brackets, admins should discourage foul 
language. We want the Octopi to be family friendly as much as possible. Uh, point D. I should have read this beforehand. Get into my head. Uh, deliberately disruptive language or behaviour can be understood using the example from a couple of weeks ago when a group of any occupation student politicians from QUT launched a sustained trolling attack on the OB Facebook page, posing as participants in Occupy and setting up bogus pages calling for the election of a Chancellor of Occupy Brisbane, signaling, signaling out individuals for harassment. This point is not intended to silence disagreement. Five reports from the ground should be seconded by another independent source on the ground where possible, and six admin positions are accrued by the GA. Yeah. Any, any, any other discussion with that? Uh, we're not passing this here tonight, though. Debbie. Lars, did you have a point? Uh, just a short one. Um, it sounded fantastic. It's just uh, uh, when you use the word properties, referring to what was online, I, my conscience is kind of, ooh, we use the property word, but it's just like a suggestion that maybe reflect on whether that's the best word choice or not. It's a bit of a I, I guess it's more intellectual property is okay, but it's a sense of like property represents. I'll confess that I'm both on your behalf. Yeah. Um, really, it was talking about properties, like as in, uh, like as in uh, art props. Right. Yeah, those kinds of properties, not as in ownership properties. Anybody else have anything? Did you still? Yeah, I was put on the agenda working group up, uh, web working group update. We haven't really had net or anything as yet. And this other stuff does block our input and it's happened independently, so it's just great. So it's all coming together. But just to report that, um, that Shannon is now an admin of the Facebook page and he can do live updates, um, which is excellent. And uh, I guess in, lo um, in line with this nice. stuff about um, getting a second person to, um, to uh, affirm that that's OK, maybe we can speak to Sharon. This is official, we're still working on it. So anyway, so we now, so as, as of this stage, we have a live we have a live person doing live updates to Facebook. Um, something that was brought up today at the rally today earlier, and that's been coming up as an issue among the community here, has been respect. And not just respect for another person, but respect for just them in general, what they do as well. You can't just assume something about someone just because they're a little bit different or they do something differently to you, they behave differently to you. And you can't, shouldn't judge a person and assume disrespect as well. Or because innocently when you accuse someone of disrespecting someone else, you're causing them so much more disrespect than they could ever cause in someone else, I'm sure. At least, yeah, more than that. But yeah, you should, and it's just, yeah, an issue that's been coming up a couple of times that people have just accused me and a couple of others of disrespecting others when we're just behaving normally. We're respecting everyone who's here. I have respect for all of you. I love all you guys. This is a ama an amazing movement, and we've achieved so much so far. So yeah, I just yeah thought I'd bring that up because we all need to treat each other with respect because otherwise this whole thing is going to fall apart. Speaking to that, I think that um, as as the as Brisbane's occupation continues, we'll start to understand each other's way of being more. Um, we, you know, we all we are so diverse and we do come from different cultures even within the white Australian Brisbane culture. Um, and so what you know might be acceptable that I say around my friends might not be acceptable for you. So I do hear your point about assuming that someone is disrespecting you uh, immediately because you know that's the feeling, it's, a, it's an emotion that comes up. 
oh my god, how dare they call me a teacher? You know, like that's such a yeah, bad that, thing. Because for some people that really is a bad thing. Um, so, that, you know, if we can be just a bit patient with each other, but at not at the same time, not just wipe it off, because people don't understand unless you talk with them. So, 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 yeah. so then at some other point, quietly, once you get your composure back, just go up and say, you know, when you said that, it made me feel like this. And um, I'm just, you know, I'm just wondering where you were coming from when you said that, because it felt to me like you were really putting me down then. If, if you can get your composure back and then approach it like that, I mean, that's, that's how we start to blend and create our own language, our own community, our own acceptable way of being around each other. And, and with that, um, like Kathy raised quite a long time ago about, you know, uh, the kinds of personal, you know, keeping personal space and um, the language, you, you know, oppressive language that, you know, is generally considered acceptable in society but really isn't um, and those kinds of things. Not everyone knows that yet. So to just, you know, to be gentle with, you know, an 84-year-old person who calls you dearie you know, and just sort of, you know, just sort of go, okay, so that doesn't mean that they mean to be disrespectful. Um, and maybe I can just, you know, ask them to use my name instead or something like that. And combat it just on a personal level rather than a rules-based level to some extent. Anyway, it's my feeling. Yeah, and, and another thing I want to say, my feeling is just such, such a comment someone, someone made and just something I said, I was looking for a friend of mine. And um, they said, and this person said, oh, I was for a while. Check. Oh. And then I was looking for a friend of mine, and, and I was just talking talking to a friend of mine, and someone passing by said, as I as I asked them, have you seen such a person? And I said, oh, for all right. well, personally, I hope they get run over by a car. And it's like, what kind of arrogant <laughs> disrespectful person was saying that? I <laughs> Yeah, I didn't name names though. That's the thing. I'm talking about general respect. Let's let's um talk about that after. I was just gonna say, could people just not use general assemblies to air what are essentially personal grievances? Like it's really disrespectful of this whole group and the democracy of this group. Like. Yeah. Does any does anybody have anything else on? Uh, did you just move forward to respect? This, is this that topic here? Yep. Do you have do you have anything else to say on that? No. Um. Yesterday I had a, a talk with Uncle Ted. Um, with my industrial deafness, it was quite interesting, but I've managed to come out. Um, and I was talking to him about uh, my experience during the Sky Rail protests in Karanda, um, where, you know, um, the Wudja Wudja community were also involved in that. And the elders from the Wudja Wudja community, because they were all spending time together in camp, um, they started a, a cross-cultural connection. So like uh, sit down together to talk about our own, you know, our own way of being around each other. Um, and that, you know, started of course with, with stories, people's stories of, you know, of how it was, how life was for them. Um, and it really created something up for having lived, lived years in and around Karanda. And they were, you know, I knew Murray people and, you know, we'd say hello and stuff. It actually created such a strong bond of community to sit down and share stories and not just to hear the Murray stories, but for them to hear our stories and, and it was a cross-cultural experience. Um, and he was really, he really liked the idea and said that he'd like to see something like that happen here and so would I. And neither of us said either of us were going to get it organised or anything. But um, it's an idea that I just wanted to put out there that I, I just feel so strongly that, you know, the only reason that we're not being moved on is because they've got our backs. And, um, you know, I, I just feel really like, you know, I'd like us to feel more like a community 
sitting together. Um, and so, you know, and if anyone would like to work with me on a working group to try and set something like that up, I'd be really keen on that. If you can come and see me directly after GA then and we'll get details down and do something like that. Is that all okay for everyone else? Uh, that was, um, that's all done. Uh, no? Yeah, so that's it? Yeah, that's it. How we close? How we close um, I just want to add, um, last evening I was not able to be here, um, for the General Assembly. But there was discussion about having uh, a first aid working, working group put together. Um, awesome. Um, I also live just nearby to here. So I'm willing to keep this major first aid stuff up there so that if we happen to get evicted, we will know where the important things are for that. And just, which would be not even a full block up the road. And then I'd be willing to be able to get together with the people who have their first aid training so that if something was to happen in the camp, we would know the individuals to go to. So I just wanted to put that out there that, you know, my place is available for that posting. And then I would like to talk to anybody who has training who is willing to put their name out as somebody that can be gone to if first aid is needed. So just talk to me after afterwards, please. And your name is? My name is Megan. That's all. All right. <laughs> Another two. Yep. All right. So um, show me what democracy looks like. This, this is, is what, what democracy looks, looks like. like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Thanks, guys. Woo, come on, now. Tell me what the what does it look like? Hey, this is what the what does it look like? <laughs> yeah. That constructive noise. What are these?